Hello, this is Monica, story lady, manager of the Umatilla County Special Library District's Takeoff Program. It's an early literacy program um, intended to help children get ready for kindergarten. Um, not everybody can make it to their local library. I hope that you all try your best to get, get to your library. They have some excellent programs, awesome story times, lots of fun things, and of course, fantastic books. I am introduced to some new material um, with a subscription from the Junior Library Guild. And when I came in today, I had a package waiting for me. So let's see what they sent me. And then we'll read it together for the first time. And uh, what did we get? The emails go to my supervisor. So it's always kind of a little bit of a surprise for me. She forwards them along, but I try to intentionally not open them up. That way I can be surprised each time. It's kind of my little fun mail to get at work. All right, the lodge that Beaver built. Let's see. Let's see if I can get the name. Randy. It's uh, an interesting font. I'm going to guess those are N's. Randy Sun and Shine looks to be our author, illustrated by Ann Hunter. Um, honestly, I'm not familiar with either one of those names, so let's see. The Lodge That Beaver Built. Oh, in memory of my father who taught me to hear the poetry of nature. For the sake of wild and watery places. Those are the two uh, dedications there. Let's get started. This is the crunch in the darkening wood of teeth against bark where the willow once stood. Oh, I love a good ride. On the shore near the lodge that Beaver built. This is the dam blocking the stream. You see that there? that slid through the woods like a silvery seam, protecting the lodge that Beaver built. Oh, look at the animals, the trees. Some, looks to be some deciduous trees. They're the ones that change their color. Here we go. These are the yearlings that pile up sticks, then pack them with mud like mortar and bricks repairing the lodge that Beaver built. These are the muskrats, crafty and bold, that pop in one day out of the cold, sharing the lodge that Beaver built. Oh, there's lots of interesting things to point out. Sharing this story. This is the musk turtle, burrow down deep in the layers of mud for a long winter's sleep under the lodge that Beaver built. This, this is the curl of wispy white steam that drifts from the mound while newborn kits dream snug in the lodge that Beaver built. This is Coyote pawing the mound. He scratches and howls, but the walls remain sound. So he slinks from the lodge that Beaver built. This is the mama hauling a limb with kits close behind her learning to swim circling the lodge that Beaver built. This is the goose with a silky black crest, plucking a frond to cushion the nest that sits on the lodge that Beaver built. This is the button brush, alder and sedge, hiding new ducklings from hawk on her ledge. Sh shielding the lodge that Beaver built.
This is the heron, one minute still. The next with a fish in his scissor-like bill in the marsh near the lodge that Beaver built. This is the moose with rippled brown flanks munching the water weed close to the banks waiting by the lodge that Beaver built. This is the flood that blasts through the dam, pounding the pond like a battering ram, destroying the lodge that Beaver built. This is the family swimming upstream in search of a site for their new house of dreams, leaving the lodge that Beaver built. This is the crunch in the darkening wood of teeth against bark where the willow once stood on the, sheer, on the shore near the lodge that Beaver built. Oh, look at everything that's going on here. They're working, moons out, several stars. So sink your teeth into these beaver facts. Not your average architect. Beavers can actually change the entire landscape and create a whole new ecosystem. That's why ecologists call them eco-engineers and consider beavers a keystone species, an animal that others depend on for their survival. When beavers build a dam in running water like a stream, the dam slows the flow of water creating a pond where they can build an island home safe from predators. This new wetland habitat supports many animals and plants like those mentioned in the book. Beaver dams also benefit humans by filtering water that runs down streams. Island getaway. Beaver lodges are more than just a pile of sticks. They are complex structures with many features that keep the beavers safe and comfortable. Thick layers of mud regulate the temperature in the lodge year round and a chimney like hole in the roof lets fresh air in and steam out. Several underwater slides allow the beavers to enter and exit the lodge quickly if predators like coyotes or otters get too close. The floor of the main chamber, which is above the water level, is covered with wood shavings. This fluffy carpet not only makes a comfy bed, it also soaks up any water the kits and yearlings might forget to shake off at the door. Chop, drag, stack, pack, repeat. Beavers easily live up to the expression, busy as a beaver, mostly nocturnal, they spend the nighttime hours from late summer through fall, chiseling through trees and branches, digging watery canals to float large, heavy logs and branches to their building sites and constructing dams and lodges. They also spend a great deal of time munching on twigs, leaves and watery plants, as well as anchoring lots of leafy branches in the muddy pond bottom to snack on throughout the winter. Then in the spring, they get right to work inspecting and repairing leaks and holes in the dam. There's never a dull moment for these sharp tooth workaholics. A handy dandy tail. A beaver's tail is like a built-in multi-purpose tool. They can use it like a boat rudder to steer them when they swim or like a prop to balance when they, when they sit. Oh, It also stores fat for the winter and makes one whopper of a sound when it's slapped against the water. That comes in handy when they need to warn one another that a predator is near or get the attention of some naughty kits. Terrific teeth. What's orange, self-sharpening, and constantly growing? 
beaver teeth, of course. The bright orange color comes from the iron rich enamel or protective tooth covering. Not only does the iron make beaver teeth stronger, but it also resists acid and prevents tooth decay. Scientists have been so impressed by this adaptation that they are studying beaver teeth in order to find ways to detect and prevent tooth decay in humans. All in the family, beaver pairs have one litter of three or four kits each year. The kits usually stay with their parents for up to two years. Add that up and you'll discover that there could be as many as 12 family members living together in at one time. A large family does have advantages. However, the older yearlings provide a strong workforce and the younger ones make good babysitters and groomers for the new kits. Hmm. There's a glossary. I love when books not only introduce children to new vocabulary, but then also help them understand the meaning. Battering ram, a large heavy piece of wood or metal used to break through doors and walls. Crest, feathers on top of a bird's head. Flank, the fleshy part of an animal's side between the ribs and hip. Frond, a long feathery leaf. Kit, a newborn beaver. Lodge, a beaver dome, a beaver's dome shaped house made out of sticks, rocks, moss, and mud. Mortar, a paste like mixture used for holding building materials together and filling gaps. Yearling, an older kit that lives with the family and leaves after two years. And it gives you some um, websites and videos if you want to learn more about beavers. So I enjoyed this. I like the, uh, the tempo of this book. And I also like books that rhyme. I hope that you liked it as well. Um, obviously, that was my first reading of it as it came straight out of the package. I'll have to iron out a few things before I start sharing it with children. But also, at the, at the same time... When I am sharing a book with children and stumble over a word or two, I point out that even grown-ups uh, have to learn as they go, just like our children do. Have a great day. This is Monica from the Umatilla County Special Library District Takeoff Program, uh, reading The Lodge That Beaver Built. And I would love to share this with children and be able to point out in the illustrations uh, many of the the intricacies that are, are hidden in there, or not necessarily hidden, but included in there. Uh, I think it'll be a great book to share.